our company effectively combines different distributor footprints and CTV footprints to enable dressable on national inventory. It's a bunch of different pieces of software. It's all software. Uh, there's a piece of tech that we give the advertisers for running campaigns, right. which is what the networks can give the advertisers directly or they can give it through the agencies. That's one piece. Right. The second piece or the most important piece is how a network can connect to, let's say, DISH for their right. addressable set-top boxes and how they can, how a network can activate the exact same spot across Vizio, for example. Right. Or you spoke with Kelly from Nielsen, how you can also activate on Nielsen because they all cover discrete and distinct footprints. Right. But a network wants to cover the entire footprint of their audience. Right. So that's the second piece. The last and the final piece is the tech that we give MVPDs to protect the data and keep it private while enabling addressability on national inventory. Right. So like three distinct pieces come together. It's all combined in our, by our AI engine, which ties them all together. Right, right. Now, why is keeping that privacy so important for the, the MVPDs? Uh, multiple reasons, to be very candid. Um, there are multi-billion dollar carriage agreements between the network and the MVPD. MVPD doesn't want to give granular level data to the network because that starts creating a lot of issues in carriage renegotiations. That's one. Right. The second big piece is privacy, right? Uh, we have a lot of new rules which have come up in the market. We have to protect users' privacy at the set-top box level. And if you see, MVPDs have a very higher standard of data than the digital counterparts that they've right. had. So it's extremely important for both. One, for the business that the networks and the operators have. Second is the, P, uh, the privacy of the subscribers of each of the MVPDs. So we want to enable advertisers to target people who fit a certain criteria, or let's say you want to show an ad to someone whose lease is coming up to an end, you want them to renew that contract. But you don't want to let advertisers start targeting users in a non-privacy compliant way, because that's going to cause the same issues that Facebook went through a few right. years ago, and we absolutely don't want that in the television industry. This has been a product five years in the making. We finished the product in 2017, we actually did a live test for six weeks on FX inventory. Uh, when it was with Fox, now it has moved to Disney ABC. Right. It was live inventory, six weeks of campaign um, with real-time credit card spend data. We ran that, but of course it was all manual because we were testing the technology. Right. So we finished testing the technology in 2018, and then Dish and us worked to make it completely viable. And also we developed a technology to connect to CTVs. So now we can connect the dish footprint, let's say for example, the Vizio footprint, uh, Nielsen footprint, all together for the same ad, ad spot. So we went commercial um, in December of 2019, and our first commercial fully paid advertiser goes live next month. Our role is pretty simple and straightforward. We, are, we swim in on our lane, which is we want to connect one network to multiple distribution endpoints, and same thing, we want to connect Dish, Vizio to multiple network endpoints. Right. So that's our only goal. So our goal for this year to add two more MVPD endpoints, we are in active discussions with, and also at least one more CTV endpoint. From the network side, as I mentioned, we are already testing with uh, Fox and CBS over long-term contracts. Um, there's a distinction between cable and broadcast. Cable is much more easier to start with. Um, we are also working on tests for broadcast technology, how the signaling works and so on and so forth. So add another um, big network group uh, to the three network groups we already have commercial agreements with. Great. That's our target. Uh, one of the first steps we're doing with DISH is to start off the industry with spot optimization. What they mean is creative versioning for a single advertiser because right. that's an easier sell-in, it's an easier change. Because change management is what is important in this industry. Yes. You don't want to just jump in with something which might disrupt a lot of workflows. Uh, that's one thing I want to bring attention to. It's not full addressability like digital to start with. Right. Though the technology can do it, we can do it today. But what we felt as a um, group of companies coming together, it's better to do it in small steps, learn from it before taking big leaps forward.